you captured some videos for us and then Kervin and I made them into some, yes. some comparisons because I think that's where the true changes lie. Can we take a look at the first comparison video, which I think, what are we, what are we showing here? Seeker mine? This, this is the new Seeker mine. Well, there's the before and after. Cool. We'll actually loop this because I think it's important to watch a few times. So what you can see here is uh, Bruce doing some testing in one of the gyms, which is uh, what we do on the development yeah, side. Yeah. Uh, you see Time to Kill on the left, the TTK, and the uh, player's Time to Be Killed. Um, obviously, that's not what we're testing here. Yeah, uh, ignore TTK here. I mean, like, like yeah, could have shot that guy in the head with his little sliver of health a lot sooner. Yeah. Um, but you can see that the old Seeker Mind is taking off roughly, if I'm not mistaken... Um, it takes about two, double the time. Well, it's, it's about two... It was taking two armor bars mm -hmm. off of that named elite mm -hmm. enemy. The new one is bringing it right down to a sliver of health. And That's this a big is, change. This is, I, I want to stress the fact that this is without me or my character wearing any gear that further boosts explosive damage. I don't even think I was a demolitionist at the moment. Okay. So... That you can do quite a lot of damage with explosive skills. Okay, this is going to be on the PTS. I'm really glad that we're testing this stuff on the PTS before it goes into the live game because these mm -hmm. are big changes. Now, if we switch to the next one, all right. So yeah, the second comparison is uh, the bombardier we... drone. Ooh. Okay. So this one really kind of I think encapsulates the difference because he, I, I think it was like again a, a couple of armor bars off on before. Now he's being essentially one shot. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's the first bomb that actually kills him. Mm. The, the bombardier drone is dropping two bombs. So it's a lot of damage. That's a lot. Yeah. Okay. Interesting though. A and again, I would stress, please do test this out on the PTS, uh, which is going live next week. Uh, we really need a lot of feedback on these. And we can and we, can, and we do test these things internally. But there is nothing. Uh, we want to make sure that we have a healthy uh, eco state of the game. Mm, whoa! Just like that. Like that. Ten out of ten. Should we show the? We have three more videos. I love this. this yeah, is so let's show good. the turret. The turret is. I love. Is it the, the third one? I love the turret. I think the th the turret is. Whatever the third, the third one. one is. Let's queue up the third one. Yeah, this one. Uh, oh yeah, this is cool. So yeah, the deploy time. Uh, yeah, so this one gives definitely, like, look at the time to kill. <laughs> four, four seconds to 0.9. Yeah. Yeah. That's a, a big change. It's significant. It's significant. Very cool. Uh, how about the... What's the next one? Yeah, if we take a video... Look at video number four. Yep, this one's great, too. Okay, let's... Uh, we'll... Um... So the intention, what I was trying to do here, was show you how you can... Because the, the thing that we're, we haven't really talked about yet is how skills... It's not... You don't just have one skill. You've got two, mm -hmm. right? So there's a lot of synergy and there's a lot of opportunity here. Um, and one thing that you can do in particular, and this goes back to how we wanted to... Or how we approached the rebalance, is from a top-down perspective of what kind of builds do we want to encourage and what kind of builds uh, do we do we want the players to be able to do mm -hmm. uh, based off of different kind of skill combinations um, and you know one option in particular is to be very focused on doing single target damage with skill platforms mm -hmm. and a good way to do that is with the assault turret and the striker drone Interesting. and the interesting thing, thing about this uh, before and after is that um, in the after footage the turret killed the heavy so quickly that the striker drone didn't even really have an opportunity to attack it. So I just kind of like left the let the footage roll, and you can see that a striker drone can now kill a heavy in what was it nine seconds? Yeah, I was gonna say the turret's not even out yet. I destroyed the turret. Is that? Do we have? Um, oh, you guys might have clipped it. I, I, I possibly. Yeah. Wait, interesting. Cool. Okay. Yeah. So there, there's a slight. Yeah, it's only the drone. Initially, it was meant to be, yeah. So the the turret with the striker drone killed the heavy in like two or three seconds. Okay. Right? <laughs> right. And now, so this is okay. Another caveat, or another thing to keep in mind, or something to consider for for everyone in chat, 
is that what you're looking at are enemies that are scaled for normal difficulty. Like that. They're actually, we haven't shown one video. What's the last one that we have? This comparison. Oh, I love this. The shield is back. The time to be killed. So, uh, yeah. there you go. Time keeps on going. Yeah, there you go. Time to be killed is what? Yeah, I, we actually had to add a frame hold in here because this <laughs> this is going to be uh, This goes on and on. It's going to take a little while here. Yeah. I like it. Very cool. Um, yeah, like I said, I can't wait to see what build people go with. And again, I would stress, make sure you get yourself on the PTS to test these things out. Give um, us data. Data and theory crafting is, uh, is, is so cool. Uh, and the more people that are on the PTS, the more data we can get. Yes. Yeah. So I'm very excited about that. Yeah. Well, we're already over time, but this is this is a lot of fun. This has been great. It's been really cool. I think it's probably time to head into some agent highlights for the week. And I found some really cool ones online uh, this morning.